Hello guys, I am Shahzad and welcome in lecture number 5. Today is we gonna learn the semantic elements. How can you use the semantic elements like uh, sections, articles, uh, like uh, navigation, nav, tag or semantic elements, header, footer. So these are the basics and widely used the semantic elements in HTML5. Okay, so now we are starting from the section so this is the semantic element of the section and uh, section close okay now what that means a sections element define a sections in your html document or your in or your html page like if i define this sections and i'm saying this is h1 and I'm saying this is F1. I'm saying this is Angular, AngularJS. And uh, if I'm writing, this is about the AngularJS for the beginners. And I should copy this. And paste this okay now you have your one section I'm just copying and pasting okay this is your second section it's about the HTML 5 HTML 5 and now I'm saying this is for the HTML 5 HTML5 and also the HTML5 and also the HTML5. Now, if you open your browser, fresh the page, make sure now you have your two sections. One is the AngularJS and the second is the HTML5. So, in this way, you can create your sections. Make sure uh, our sections defines a section in our page or in our document whenever i say document that means i'm talking about your web page okay so now if we take the example so as you can see this is the website and this is the block sections so definitely they they have some articles in the block block sections so right click view page source and now find the article so now as you can see this is the article they are using and they have a lot of articles many articles here so this is the article and this is the article so in simple words your article specifies independent that means self content content so self contained content that means they have some articles okay so this is the big difference between your sections and your articles so, so they have these articles here and they have two sections on this page like this is one section and this is second sections if you talk about the semantic element this is a sidebar and they have one sections and in the one sections they have many articles so how can you create your articles uh, I'm going to comment this code so you can easily get the code okay so how can you comment the code similarly it's similar to HTML4 So this is article in this way you can create your articles your article goes here like your sections copy this bad boy paste this bad boy here so now you have your one article here you have you may have many articles like this angular js 2 and angular js 2 3 Go to the page, refresh the page. 
so now you have three articles okay okay now let's talk about the header so your header element specify a header for your whole document that means for your whole page and also for your sections like uh, if you open a website any website so definitely they have the header sections make sure so as you can see this is the head sections and they have the whole they have the head for the whole website or the document okay so now you can also create multiple headers for your document like if you want to create the navigations bar let me okay now i'm going to comment this so you can easily get the code so this is the article code okay now this is the header i'm saying this is the header okay and i'm using this header for the entire website or for the whole page i'm saying i have to define the nav here navigation bar here navigation bar here and also your header content like uh, this is your slider and also related to the header section so this is navigation bar and your slider so these sections available in the header so i have to define this one and i i i also have to define this one so this is the slider make sure this is a slider okay so now your navigation bar goes here navigation bar your slider goes here and you are also other elements other elements okay so this is the header for your whole page or for your whole document make sure whenever i say whole document or whenever i say page so document and the page are the same things okay you can also create multiple headers in simple words like uh, your article you have one article and your article you have this header sections and your header close here okay so this is your header and also you can also define something here or detail details you can also use the details tag so this is also a semantic elements detail about the angular js you can also use the link here so it's totally depend upon you how you are coding and how you are using your elements you may have the footer section so this is the footer sections if you right click inspect element and uh, as you can see this is the footer sections and all the footer available in this tag so this is a semantic tag footer so you have to define your footer like this so in your footer you definitely have your ul li's divs a lot of things you can define here you can also define tables something like this so your footer goes here okay refresh the page so this is your footer okay so it's totally depend upon you how you are coding and what is your requirement and definitely you have the navigation bar we have all already discussed the nav so this is the nav nav that means you can create your navigation bar something like this or something like this so this is your navigation bar 
you can also create your navigation bar this is the basic series so that's why we are explaining each and everything deeply once you complete the HTML and, and HTML5 yeah, you can also learn the styling that means uh, the CSS so you can also create this attractive or these kind of attractive website using HTML CSS and some other frameworks so we have another like uh, this sections okay like if I open the blog section so as you can see this is the sidebar so they have some articles left side and right side they have the sidebar so how can you create your sidebar so first of all a side element defines some content aside from the content it is placed in likely sidebar okay so now if you have let me comment this so you can easily get the code if you have two sections section one and also so this is section one section one and also you have section two and in the sections you definitely have the sidebar so how can you define the sidebar you have to design a side a side here your sidebar here so go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see this is the section this is the section one and this is the section and also you have your sidebar make sure you can you cannot create the sidebar like this these elements defines its internal or inside elements like uh, this section is defining that you have the sidebar you can specify other things inside here but you can create these type of layouts using your CSS and also some other frameworks like bootstrap okay so I think this is enough for today in the next video we are going to cover some other topics so thank you for watching